So I've been working on polishing uh, the aluminum uh, parts for my ski toe pylon um, structure, I guess. And uh, so I've got this little kit here with multiple grits of sandpaper and it came with a little wheel with a pad on it. And uh, so I just used my drill and I start with 240 grit, went like 240, 400, 800, 1000, 2000, and 3000. And uh, so it, it's not mirror like, but that doesn't, I'm okay with that, but it looks much nicer and cleaner than it did. And uh, so you can see that. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy with it. And uh, so now I just got to get it cleaned off. I did use WD 40 to help lubricate as I was sanding, and it worked pretty well. And uh, so I'll show what it looks like here after I get it put back together in the boat. It's complete now. And I went ahead and tightened up all the bolts. I'll, I'll snug them up at some point just to make sure they're snug. But, um, and uh, so this is how it turned out. And also I, I went ahead and used some scrap pieces of aluminum for sort of washers on the backside of uh, these bars here. And then I did a similar thing. Um, I don't think I talked about it. You can see that strip. So it's sort of one piece that's sort of a, like a washer on the back side of of that on the other side of the stringer and so and when I polished I just polished the parts that show like I didn't polish this back part because it doesn't matter at all and I have encapsulated uh, that wooden piece there and then there is a wooden piece as a spacer uh, for that bracket and that's encapsulated as well so that's how it uh, turned out and it's the final final product of it so real happy with it and it is rock solid so it'll it'll work well one thing I forgot to mention I'm not sure I mentioned this before my intent is to make it so if I had to I can I can take that pylon out after the boat is done you know, I'm all finished and so what I'll have to do though underneath I'll have to loosen couple of set screws that are on that bracket right here and then I'll have to loosen these straps up and I can do that underneath um, this is if for some reason I needed to replace it for some reason um, and and then so once those are loose what you can do is it'll turn just a little bit one way well in theory it will um, one second all right, so to get it to spin, I actually had to take that bolt out and open these up just a little bit. And then uh, what this will do, I imagine the deck all on here, is I'll be able to just pull this, you twist a little bit, and it'll just come right out like that. And so again, if for any reason I needed to uh, replace this or something, I'll be able to, and there's a little drain hose for water. Obviously I'll have to unhook that too. I'll pull it out. So, but uh, that's how I'll be able to um, serve that if I have to after the boat is done. I wanted to describe just a little bit uh, more detail about this structure here. <clears throat> um, so, I've got a little space around here because that's the thickness, roughly, of what the uh, Final planking will be along with the, the decking of the plywood. Um, but I just wanted to mention why I have these two small pieces here on either side. That uh, pylon fits just snugly down in between those. And uh, I know I talked about this. This just holds it back up against this plate right here. But these two, what, what those do is take any kind of side load. So if if somebody's skiing or even a tube swings out any of the side load will contact this which then contacts this and and then contacts you know then the whole structure can uh, take that side load and then this plate what I have I have a plate right here that actually goes down all the way down to the bottom you can't see it here um, and so what what that is intended to do is the that back edge of the pylon itself rests on that 
and then and so loading forces but because that's sticking up I put a piece of wood in here and then I have this plate in the back which helps uh, transfer that load to this beam here and uh, so because I didn't want the top decking the intent is these screws just screw into the deck and then that's what takes that back load and I did not want that again I didn't I know I talked about not wanting any of the load being on the back on the transom. Why well, I certainly didn't want any of that, that side load or the that back load, which is going to be the most of it uh, on the decking, just was four screws, which that wouldn't do anything. So you need you really need something to hold this for that. It's basically a tube, and for that to rest on. So that's what this this plate does, and then this wood, and then that back plate. So all those together help secure it to this top beam. So that's a little bit more de uh, description about um, how I built this.